Hey, Brian here today. Um, I'm out riding my Suron today because it is a pretty day. I had to go run some errands, and of course, I took my Suron e bike to uh, run my errands, just save gas on my car. That's a big advantage of having an electric bike and uh, riding it around. I want to come to you today. Uh, I made a video about my. Uh, my uh, KO motor and my K uh, KO nano controller just a few days ago. And then prior to that, maybe a month ago, I've, I've made a video when I got it, uh, got the two pieces. And I just want to uh, clear up some miscommunication, um, some inaccurate information, uh, I think, about uh, the K KO company motor and the uh, nano controller. Uh, and everything I'm going to talk to you today is about uh, the Suron model uh, light B over in Europe, and what they call it, or you know, across the sea, across the ocean. I just call it a Suron X Black Edition. I got it from Luna Cycles in 2000, uh, the end of 2021, uh, November, December. And uh, I've got the upgraded uh, Suron, I mean, the uh, uh, forks on it that everyone wants to get now. And so I'm really happy that I got the, the forks and the fast ace rear shock it's a pretty good setup but let me just go ahead and skip to uh the misconceptions of of this uh controller and motor and why people are like i i, I changed mine i wish i didn't put my order in or i wish i could exchange it um, and i think it's a lot of user error and misconceptions that that people uh, are doing the wrong thing so let me get into it real quick and uh, tell you about some of the things so that you're not scared about the ko company okay all right, first off, from, from just watching, I don't watch a ton of videos on people that, are, that make content on the KO stuff uh, because there is a lot of negativity being said. Uh, but um, I'm just going to touch base on some of the things that I've seen and that I don't have a problem with. Uh, first off, I'm going to just say I've got all the nannies turned off on this bike. As far as the kickstand, uh, there's no sensor on that. If the bike falls over and I pick it up, uh, I've got that sensor turned off or taken off. The, I don't have to do anything, turn the key off, restart the breaker. It just pick the bike up and go. Uh, so there's no problems with that. The, the nano controller is not, not doing anything of that nature to the bike. And then also, too, I've got my, my brake uh, sensors turned off or taken off. And so I can uh, put my brake on, hit the throttle. And if I wanted to, which is kind of stupid to do a burnout uh, on the back tire, uh, so I don't have that problem. There's just a lot of things you can do uh, to make the bike uh, just a pure dirt bike instead of, you know, letting your 10 year old get on it and you want to have these nannies on it so that they don't hurt themselves turn all that stuff off and and it's not the the controller's fault then another thing uh is i see that a lot of people buy these younger people buy them to uh just ride wheelies on and in in my opinion if you just want to buy a suron to ride wheelies i would just maybe suggest that you buy a uh, a one wheel unicycle <laughs> you know just buy an electric unicycle and just ride that i mean this, it has two wheels and you ride it to to have two wheels on the ground yes there's opportunities where you can ride wheelies to jump up something or 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 get over something but just buying this to ride wheelies is is kind of kind of dumb in my opinion you know i i know people like to just ride wheelies and i understand and i was younger too and but the whole point of just buying this so that i can ride a mile wheelie is is kind of odd but the point is that i need to get to that uh you can set up in the app you can set up how everything responds you know in the app you know two years ago if someone made a video or a year ago and they said well it's in beta trial it's not that good well i think they've narrowed uh, or uh, uh, made everything really really good now i don't have any problem with the app and all the tunability uh, but i would say this is not not probably the best uh, controller motor maybe you know for riding just wheelies all day long uh, you know I, I'm sure I just haven't adjusted that into my my controller. Uh, I, I like it smooth and and I just don't have any problems with that. So I've seen people mention, you know, that if you jerk the throttle a whole bunch of times that their, their bike does some quirky things. I mean, why would you why would you do that? I mean, 
I mean, and they mentioned two-stroke, you know, boom, 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 you know, revving it like a two-stroke. I just, it's an electric bike. It doesn't have sound. Why, why would you, why would you do that? Anyways, but I've never encountered that problem with a nano controller and how I have it set up. I mean, like I said, there's all these infinite settings that you can do. And also too, you can turn off, you can turn off and you have different levels of, uh, of regenerative braking. I like mine turned all the way off or almost off and so it, it doesn't force you to have regenerative braking and uh, you can turn it up as high as you want and when you uh, full throttle it and you let off it's like uh, you just have to see if you're a car person some high horsepower cars on a dyno when they mash the throttle down and everything tightens up and the car moves and when they let off the throttle abruptly the car jumps up and makes an aggressive move i mean they have that in the app and i'm like i had it set to that and i was like ooh, i don't like that so i turned it off um so there's just lots of things that you can do uh, that a lot of people complain about it's like man i just can't i can't ride with that i bought a nano controller and i hate it and i wish i'd never bought it uh, well, um, try doing some research or try playing around in, in the app, you know, and experiment and <clears throat> read and do, like I said, do some research to try to find out if you can resolve that. A lot of stuff can be, can be fixed. Now, I'm not saying everything that it's perfect because uh, I haven't run into any problems yet, but will I, will I in the future? I don't know. Uh, I would say probably not likely. Uh, but if I do, you know, I'll make a video and I'll be very honest. I didn't get paid to buy this nano controller and this, and this motor. I didn't get it for free. I paid my own money and I did my own little bit of research before I bought it. And, uh, and so I just wanted to bring this to people. And if there's anything else that you think that, uh, that you've read or you've seen or you've heard, you've seen in a video, and you're like, man, I don't want to buy a nano controller because I'm scared of that. Then post, and I'll, I'll, I'll test it and see if I have the same problem. Um, again, this is 2024, so uh, you know, a, a new company coming out. Everything's not going to be perfect right from the get-go. There is going to be some bugs to work out, some trials to work through. And I think, you know, maybe if this has been out for two years, three years, that uh, I'm really, really happy with it. And I would say. Um, and one other thing that I really, really like about that really made me want to get this first was the app and, and you turn the key on and immediately your phone, if you have it, the app running, it'll immediately notice it. You don't have to do a thing and it pulls up all the information on, uh, pulls up all the information on your bike. It's just perfect. And again, when you turn the key, you get one beat and you're ready to ride. It's just, it's really, really intuitive and really simple and also too i like the black nano controller the look of it and it fits perfectly everything bolts up perfectly into the right holes there's really no modifying much that you have to do other than you know if you want to put uh, some decorative pieces back on the little plastic pieces that just kind of sure up little you know voids in areas you may need to dremel a little bit of those pieces to get them to fit uh, and if you change your skid plate uh, then you may have a little bit of more of modifying, little modifying that you have to do, but it's not a big deal. Uh, and I like the black motor. I ordered this specifically to get this black motor because I love the stealth look of the uh, the uh, Suron Black X Edition. And uh, the nano controller looks really, really good. It resembles the factory unit. It just everything's really solid. It's just a perfect package for me, and that's why I went with it. Uh, and so. Hopefully this helps people uh, to uh, know a little bit more about uh, the KO motor and the, and the and nano controller. And again, this is the RS motor. It's not the higher end S spec models that have uh, more uh, availability to make a little bit more power and have a little bit higher top speed. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. If I can get this to do, you know, 60, um, 60 miles per hour, you know, in the end when I want to, if I'm cruising down the street and I just want to haul ass, I'll be fine with that. I don't need to go 90 uh, or 70, you know, uh, but again, that's the video. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, leave a like if you did, or you liked the, uh, enjoyed hearing the content, you know. To finish the video off, I just want to add to, I've really customized mine. It's, it's not abrupt customizing, but 
little things here and there and things you want to make uh, do to yours. I love everything about what I've done and I would do it over 10 times again. If I had to do it over and over and over, I would completely, if this bike got stolen, what I would do is exactly what I've done. I've got a uh, extended rear fender and it's more of a, a molded pattern one. It's not just a flat duck bill, you know, like the, the, the front of your cap. It's got some contour to it. Uh, and I think that was a dirty bird or something similar to that. Uh, I've got a warp 952 tooth rear sprocket. I've got a uh, aftermarket O-ring list, no O-ring chain. I've got Shimano, uh, the extra Shimano brake pads front and rear, the ones that everyone recommended, you know, two years ago uh, and gives you a lot better stopping. <clears throat> I've got a carbon fiber Luna Cycles wrap on my battery which looks awesome and it's it's two years old and it's been working and staying stuck on and looks amazing i've got uh, some steel wider foot pegs that were like 35 dollars instead of these you know 80 dollar you know machined aluminum foot pegs with little spikes that can come out and you can lose these work a more motocross type oriented uh, foot pegs and they work awesome i saved some money there I've got a center display where I took my display from over here and I moved it to uh, the center stock or the center uh, control stem right there. I love that. Another thing that people will bash on the KO uh, nano controller and the motor is, 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 is the display. Um, I, I just have the factory display. I don't really need another display. I, I really don't need to have my phone mounted to my handlebars with my, my you know, KO. You can have the app running. You can see, you know, see uh, temperature and some different things, uh, you know, and how much power reserve you have. But I've got, it shows my battery power right here. <clears throat> my display shows me my mile per hour and how far I've gone. And then I have a simple control right here that just shows eco mode or sport mode sport mode full power eco mode reduced power so that i'm not draining my uh, my battery quicker if i'm not needing to be in the sport mode or have uh, you know instantaneous throttle response i can just slip that down that's all i need i just don't really understand why people have to have these large displays and and these different abilities to switch between maps you know five different maps or a uh, you know wet map a dry map a wheelie map uh, you know what other maps do you need that just give me it's a dirt bike just give me power let me ride let me have fun i don't need to monitor everything i got uh, different grips on there and i've got a 250 millimeter uh rip and moto front uh floating rotor and that is a, an amazing uh piece too plus i got the rs motor and the uh, nano controller what else do i have on here let's make sure i've covered everything I've cut my fender down to make it less dirt bike looking um, and try to make it where I can ride maybe a little bit on the street and not get pulled over. Today, I, I passed three police officers and they really looked at me and I was like, man, is this the day that they come over and try to hassle me? You know, because these things are being ridden on the street and people are stunting them, st uh, stunting, you know, riding wheelies and standing up on the seat. And, and it's just dangerous and it doesn't look good for the riders that just want to ride peacefully uh, through the neighborhood and on, on, on some of the smaller streets. It gives us a bad rap. And so I'm just trying to be as low key as possible. And that's what everyone should be doing, but not everyone is doing for sure. Uh, let's see what else I got just to recap. Um, oh, and I've got the Luna Cycle, uh, very affordable, you know, $35 or $40 uh, riser up handlebars, maybe two and a half, three inch, maybe two and a half. Uh, and I got those and I've had those two years and I absolutely love those. It's just everything is perfect. Uh, stock seats, you know, still everything is other than that, I think is pretty factory. Also, too, and I forget, I have the uh, peg, uh, peg brace right here. That's a, a, an essential piece. I actually, mine was uh, kind of a satin finish, you know, didn't go with the black bike, so I painted mine. I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good painter and uh, painted that matte black, and so I really like that. And uh, also, too, I've got these uh, Rip and Moto rear axle adjuster blocks. I really like these, and I upgraded my nut on the back to a ARP uh, bolt. Uh, and just stronger less uh, ability to strip it out and it's a 12 point and it just looks better it's black instead of the uh the silver color so this just uh, finishes up everything and makes it look really nice and trick
All right, then I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.